Hello, you guys are going to be writing a paragraph, a research paragraph, and you're going to be using an argumentative thesis. There are two types of argumentative theses that you guys are going to pick from. Like this prompt, what impact did 9-11 attacks have on our country, its people, and how does it continue to impact people today? Or you could choose to say this prompt or use this prompt. What are the most important conflicts slash events that contributed to the 9-11 attacks? That's everything before 9-11 and causing it. This is going to be the template in which you're going to be using. You're going to put your claim here, the one that you pick, okay, one or two. It's going to go here. And then you have to pick a reason. Your reason should be a sentence. And then it should be followed by two or more sentences explaining. Reason two should be a sentence, followed by your evidence, two or three more sentences explaining why. Reason three, one sentence, and again, your explanation and evidence of two to three sentences after that in a one sentence conclusion. Here's what an example of that should look like. So I've taken and I've used the prompt of the Revolutionary War. The three most important things that led to the events of the Revolutionary War were a terrorist act, a foreign presence in a foreign land, uh, excuse me, the three most important things that led to the events of the Revolutionary War were a war, one, a terrorist act, two, and a foreign presence in America, three. Now I go right into my first reason. And notice my first reason is right up front, the French and Indian War. And then I have transition words, transitioning it into the point I want to make. So here's my first sentence. The French and Indian War in 1754 played a big part in setting up the Revolutionary War because the English made the colonists pay for a war they were not in. That right there, folks, lets you know this is one of the reasons. Now I have to prove it. Here's my information. When the French army and English army squared off for a territorial dispute in colonial America, it cost a lot of money on both sides. In the end, when England forced France's hand, Debts had to be paid off, and England put the bill directly on the colonial citizens who were allegiant to England. This did not go over well for the colonists' morale. Okay, so there is my evidence explaining number one reason why the, Revolu the Revolutionary War was going to happen in the future. Here's my next point. Another thing that set up the war, and these are my transitional words linking together the whole theme, a terrorist act called the Boston Tea Party. England, and here's my evidence, England placed high taxes on several products being sold to the colonists, especially much-used products like tea. On a clear night in December 1773, a group of upset rebel colonists dressed as Native Americans boarded an English cargo ship in Boston Harbor and dumped several hundred dollars worth of tea into the harbor. In return, the English soldiers went from home to home in Boston and intruded on the law-abiding citizens who were not happy about this. I've just given you the second reason that the Revolutionary War was going to happen in the future. And now my final point I want to make of the three. Here's my transition word, linking everything together in the theme. Finally, the presence of English soldiers all throughout the 13 colonies was upsetting to the colonists who believed they were unjustly being strong-armed in the serving England's king. In my evidence, the soldiers made colonists fly English flags that made it illegal to assemble in town squares as a group and kept the colonists from printing their own papers. This is my evidence. This was the last straw for many of these colonists who were tired of being pushed around by England and its rules. I've given you three the French and Indian War, the Boston Tea Party, and English soldiers as the reason why the Revolutionary War was bound to happen. I've given you the evidence that goes with it, and as you can tell, I use the transitional words to string everything together and make it flow. And my final sentence, this is the conclusion, one sentence. All these things together made the Revolutionary War happen that would change the direction of America forever. Okay, that's what we're after. So you're going to need three reasons, either for this prompt, 
what impact the 9-11 attacks had on our country, its people, and how does it continue to impact people today? Or this prompt, what are the most important conflict slash events that contributed or led up to the 9-11 attacks? And notice that my thesis explained very generally what they were. The three most important things that led up to the events of the Revolutionary War were a war, a terrorist act, and a foreign presence in America. Now I have to explain all three. All right. I hope this helped. Good luck.